Hello everyone and welcome back to Yankee Dabbler, where of course every day is a train show, not just one day, not just two days, not seven days, every single day is a train show. And today we got some new things that we're going to take a look at. Are you excited, Engineer Hall? Oh, I'm definitely excited. How many days are there in the year? A lot. Anyway, let's check out these things. These are these Atlas PS2 cover hoppers. Now these are part of the Train Man series. And these are really cool looking hopper cars. I got the Norfolk and Western. I got the Northern Pacific, the Burlington Northern, the Smith Douglas Fertilizer. How about that? We got the Guilford. We got the Central of Georgia. I really like that Penn Central look. And of course, the Pennsylvania Railroad. Now, these are really great looking hopper cars here. Let's go in for a closer inspection of this Penn Central because I like that J green color here. Even though it's a Train Man series, so it doesn't have a tremendous amount of detail, but you've got a lot of really cool things happening on this car here die cast metal wheels always a good thing to have here does have some good weight to it and i always love me a nice long unit train so if you want to get a whole bunch of ps2 covered hoppers got a couple different road numbers for each one of these road names now you might be wondering how much these cars are and so am i because i don't have my sheet with me where's my sheet engineer hall uh i, I thought it was in check your pocket cut Resume! All right, I have my sheet here. So these cars retail for $33.95, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $23.99. Good deal to get on a very nice looking car here. So come to Yankee Dabbler, go on our website, and get these cars pulling commodities today. So here at Yankee Dabbler, we're actually having a little bit of an issue here because someone here that works on our staff has been, let's say, borrowing trains and not really returning them. As a matter of fact, I saw this sign at the scene of the last crime. I took the trains. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out who this could be, so we're going to keep up to date on this uh, mystery. Hopefully, we get to the bottom of it. But you might be looking for another type of car that you need, or really a set of them to put on your trains. Well, we got these well cars here for you to check out. So let's go all the way to Athern and check out these well cars here. Now, these are the five uh, set here that all have the interconnected trucks here. Engineer Hall, what exactly is that called? It's an articulated well car. Articulated well car, very cool. Now, these are the Mersk. 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 All right. And we also have a TTX as well. But the really neat thing about these cars here is, of course, I have the opening so I can put my containers in there. So if I wanted to put, you know, various different containers that we've seen them all throughout the show, whether it be here, scale trains, whatever, we have a whole bunch of different uh, versions of those containers that we could put in these cars here. Now, these are very nice looking cars here. If we can come in for a little closer inspection here, I like the edge walkways that I have here. And let's take a look at all those detailings there. I got a little bit of a information written down there. I got a very nice looking brake wheel. These are really cool looking cars here. And especially people like to model the things that they see on the rails. Well, this definitely fits the bill there. Now the Merce one's a little bit more simple because you're paying for the licensing. That one is $239.99, but we're selling it here at Yankee Dabbler for $199.99. I also have the TTX. Boom. All right, we have the TTX one as well, and this one retails for $214.99, but we're selling it here at Yankee Dabbler for $184.98. So this is a really cool looking car here, or really a set of the articulated cars here. So if you want these on your layout, come to Yankee Dabbler, go on our website, and once again, get them pulling on your railroad today. So continuing our mystery, you know, I had this sign here, but then I also found these beard trimmings which is kind of interesting so uh, i have a terrible picture and beard trimmings oh wait, this is the detective show now yeah i don't know i mean somebody's taking our trains here that is a terrible drawler and beard trimming so gotta continue to piece this mystery together but before we do that, we're going to take a look at some Atlas FMC boxcars here. Now, check out these cars here. Now, I have a couple of really neat ones here. These are two for um, track for a cure here, of course. Uh, these are really great looking cars here. I have two different versions here. Uh, this one has a whole bunch of handprints on it, which is just a really neat looking car here. I have the rail box. I have here the Vermont Railway. Here we have the Atlanta and St. Andrews Bay Railway Company. Uh -huh. I have the CSX. 
And of course, I have the Burlington Northern Santa Fe. Now, these are the single door boxcars. These are doors that I have not made, I found a mate yet. Now, for the ones that are attached, we've got the double door boxcars here. We have here the Union Pacific. We have here the Seattle and North Coast. We have here the, what is that? <laughs> I don't know, it was a green bus car, but it's no, <laughs> And finally, it's the uh, Union, Railroad, Union of Railroad of Oregon. Let's take a look at this box car here. <laughs> so this one here is the Camino Placerville and Lake Tahoe Railroad. So I think these are really cool, especially, you know, how many Union Pacific CSX cars can you have? Sometimes you need to decorate it with some lesser known cars, kind of like this. And this is actually a really neat car here. And as I said, I have the double door variations and I have the single door variations. Now, I like a whole bunch of color in my train. I like definitely the looks of these cars here. Even take a look at the top there, you can see kind of the overspray with the top there. This is a really neat looking cars here. And of course, as Engineer Hall says, you can never have enough boxcars, right? That's absolutely right. That's right. So the retail price for these boxcars sell for $42.95. I should also mention their Atlas of it in earlier. But we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $29.99. So once again, a great deal to get on a car that a lot of us definitely need here. And especially, this, and of course, uh, this uh, track for a cure car here, that is a really great one, especially if you know someone in your family or friends or whatever that have been affected by cancer. This could definitely be a nice car, a nice addition to have there to hopefully find a cure for those diseases, all right? So come to Yankee Dabbler, get these cars running today. I know you're really wanting to enjoy them. Detective GJ, did you find anything else? Actually, yes, I did. So I, once I was uh, I was going to apprehend the suspect, and then I got uh, distracted by a diesel that was running, so I didn't follow through. But I snapped a, a close-up from the back oh, of what well, the bandit got looked the subject. like. Yeah, got I don't know. Corporate. Possibly Frank. I'm not sure. So we're going to piece this all together. Uh, are we going to check for prints? No, it's not our budget. Oh, anyway, right. speaking of budget, we got some budget friendly items for you to take a look at here in N scale land. And we got some really neat looking micro train cars here and a couple of different sets here. Let's start with these individual cars here. Now, this is a fantasy scheme celebrating the 40th anniversary of the Reading and Northern Railroad, which, as everybody knows, is one of my favorites. I have here another boxcar here. This is a 60 foot rib slide high Q boxcar for the Canadian Pacific Railway. Now, this is a really cool set here. If you are a fan of the Blue Common here, I got a heavyweight five-pack set here. And these are awesome-looking cars here. Let's take a look at these cars here. I mean, the Blue Comet, one of the most legendary trains that have ever rode the rails. We took a look at one of the unscaled Blue Comets not too long ago. So these are really great addition to add to that set if you have that. Then we have another pack, uh, tank pack here. We already took a look at some of the other versions. I believe it was New York Central Pennsylvania. Well, here's the Baltimore and Ohio tank pack. Cool. Then I have here the Southern Pacific four pack. Let's take a check out these cars while we're at Engineer Hall. Sure. This is an excuse to take a look at trains here. Oh, look at the doors. Ooh. Function. Do the doors out? Yes, they do. That's awesome. Cool. So I got a various different Southern Pacific Hydra Cushion for fragile freight. And finally, I have here this caboose set, and this is actually the railroad police from the Southern Pacific. Maybe I could use them to help me solve this mystery. Oh, uh, it'd be help, it'd be help. Well, the only problem is they're really small. All right, so we have here a whole bunch of different sets here. Now, I don't want to bore you with a whole bunch of prices because I'm going to have you guys do the work. And go to our website, yankeedabbler.com. Type in the one that you're looking for here. So, for example, if you're looking for the Blue Comet Heavyweight Pack, type that into the search engine. You get what um, what our price is. I guarantee you it's a lower than what the retail value is. Of course, you can always throw that engineer hall discount and save a little bit of money off of that. So, come to Yankee Dabbler. Get some N-scale cars here. Building on your fleet. Michael Train does an awesome job de uh, detailing their cars and i know you're not going to be disappointed ladies and gentlemen i have a exciting news in the investigation the culprit has called me what do you want you madman i have the trains and there's nothing you can do about it <laughs> <laughs> wow bob is this you bob hey, are you kidding me uh jerry randy maybe is it randy wait randy doesn't work here I'm going to do whatever I can to make... Oh, we got new trains. Got to go. 
Okay, hey, let's take a look at these uh, auto racks from Scale Trains here. Check out these bad boys here because I know you're really going to enjoy them here. Now, I have here 13 different variations of these of these auto racks here, but I only brought out a couple of them because you kind of get the idea. I have the Norfolk Southern here. I have a really cool looking Burlington Northern Santa Fe. I have the Canadian National. I have the Union Pacific. And no. I have the... Canadian Pacific. Now, of course, the variations I have on these cars, for example, I have the Canadian Pacific, but I have it with a CP. I have a uh, Burlington Northern Santa Fe, but I got it in yellow. I have here another Canadian National, but instead of red lettering, it's white lettering. So I have a couple of different variations here. I think I have a CSX one upstairs, right, Engineer Hall? Yeah, we do. Yeah, all right. So I have a couple of different variations of these cars here. These are incredibly nice detailed cars here. Let's take a look at this Norfolk setting here. I have Mitch I'm sorry, etch metal all over the place here. Look at the amount of detailing there. One particular thing I love is the fact that we actually painted the tip of the air hose there. That is really cool. Love the look of that cup bar. Let's take a look underneath of these cars here. These are behemoths, okay? So obviously you don't have 18 inch radiuses if you're running these cars. But these are really, really cool looking cars here. Scale Train has kind of done a couple of different uh, ways of these. This is the latest iteration, and they're very popular. So if you're really interested in these cars, I wouldn't hesitate because they're not going to stick around. Now, the retail values of these cars sell for $99.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $74.99. So if you want to auto rack to uh, pull on your uh, road, or if you want a couple of different variations, as I said, I have 13 different versions. So check out our website, yankeedabbler.com and put your cars onto a road onto the rails today so you can take it for a journey where would you take yours H home oh all right so you're gonna take it on your layout that's already home to run around your layout which is home there you go that's the whole beauty of it take let's it make it happen going to yankee dabbler today all right so i'm a little worried about all these trains taking a walk here so we're going to take extra careful of these next ones here from broadway limited because they're really cool looking and they're a great deal too so let's check out these sd40-2s from broadway limited i have here a couple of different variations here i'm going to start with the southern pacific that is a great look a classic look here then i have the union pacific again another classic a classic look i have a high hood version of the southern I have here the Pennsylvania Railroad. I have the Conrail with the can opener there. I love that. Then I have the CP Rail, the Santa Fe in the blue scheme, and finally CSX. Now, depending on what the engine is that you have here, it depends on the different versions or the different details. So, for example, the CSX and the Canadian Pacific both have ditch lights here, where, of course, the southern engine here has the high hood. Take a look at some of the detailing that's happening on the top. You're going to notice differences. For example, the Santa Fe has a beacon light happening there. I got various different antennas. I mean... I just really love that all the manufacturers are doing these subtle different variations. I think Broadway Limited does a great job at doing that. As a matter of fact, I really like this Southern Pacific diesel that I have here. So we're going to maybe take this uh, around for a spin here because I think this is a great looking engine here. Oh, hey, oh, that's Christian. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. Do you like that one? Yeah, I do. It's pretty cool. So Thanks, anyway, DJ. as I said, I'm going to run the Southern Pacific engine and wait a minute. Was I holding a Southern Pacific engine? Uh, I don't, was you? I think uh, you were. I don't remember. Oh, okay. Oh, well, well, let's run this Pennsylvania engine then. That's a good second uh, runner up there. Let's see what this sounds like. All right, I have that Pennsylvania on the track here. Let's take a look at all the neat little lighting effects here. So, of course, I have the different marker lights here. I have the headlights illuminated, uh... Um, number boards there. I even have an engineer figurine inside of there with an illuminated cab. A lot of cool things happening. So let's get this fired up. Let's take a listen to the horn. How about the bell? Cool. And away we go.
back it up, and you, as you guys see, those marker lights are going to go away, the headlights are going to come on. Engineer Hall, you need to be my conductor here. Alright, come on back forward to the couple. Three. Two. One. Half. Far enough. Stretch it out. Good stretch. Alright. Now, one of the neat things, if you take a look at it, the cab, you see it's illuminated as soon as the engine goes, so it turns off. All aboard. Those are great sounding diesel locomotives. They're a lot of fun to play with. I really enjoy messing with them. And the best thing about these engines is the price. Are you ready for this engineer hall? Hit me with it. All right, so these locomotives retail for $399.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $199.99. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So you tell me for $199.99, I get a Broadway Limit locomotive Paragon 4? Absolutely. How they, great is that? You think they go for like two fifty? I mean, well, like two eighty, two ninety, three hundred. Depends. Well, we're getting these for one ninety nine ninety nine. Any of these diesel locomotives could be yours for that price. I think it's a phenomenal price to have. And in my opinion, every railroad needs an SD forty dash two. You still see them on the rails today. They're great looking engines. They sound awesome. I don't know what you're waiting for. I got a bunch of different uh, road names, and I got a couple different road numbers for each one of those. So if I want to get two diesel locomotives, pair them up. Say the Southern Pacifics or Canadian Pacifics. I got that. So come to Yankee Dabbler today, get those engines running while we still have them. Yeah, next week. All right, so let's take a look at all the things that we looked at in today's a jam pack show. We had a whole bunch of stuff here, starting with the It's Atlas boxcars here. I had both the double door and single door versions. I also had these PS2 covered hoppers. From Ather, and I had these articulated well cars. From Scale Trains, I had these auto racks. From Micro Trains, I had a whole slew of products for you to choose from, including these tank cars here. I got that Redding and Orange box car, the Blue Comets. And of course, from Broadway Limited, I had here these awesome looking SD40 2s at an incredible price point. So I think you definitely need to take advantage of that. But of course, if you're looking for something else that we didn't show in today's show, you can always go on our website, yankeedabbler.com, and type in the search bar what you want so we can get it shipped and sent to you so you can have hours of railroading fun. If you're not already subscribed to Engineers Hall channel, make sure you get click that subscribe button and get caught up on all the latest and greatest things that we have happening. And we're going to conclude today's video with a rail fan video. We're going to go all the way to the Cape Cod Central Railroad, where we're going to take a look at an FL9 New Haven diesel locomotive. Going through the Cape Cod countryside was an awesome looking train. This one for my uh, wedding anniversary. It was a great time. Happy we went, anniversary. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Yes, we actually uh, went on the Vista Dome car, which was part of the Empire Builder. So it was really cool. So check that out in this video video now i have come to a conclusion in our investigation you want to see me, DJ? yes so taking a look at all the evidence i determined that you are the thief that has taken all of our trains ken what do you have to say for yourself you got to say for yourself Stay. yeah seriously i have no idea what you're talking exactly about. yeah see i'm gonna take care of this come on ken. they We're always say the that oh, the, 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 the clean face guys are. this is ridiculous that's shameful. I can't believe this. Someone would just, you know, steal from our bosses like that. I can't believe it.